week. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> start off with a victory. Okay. So we had some great things happen in our legislation. Um, so Washington uh, Voting Rights Act so went through. So we've got automatic voter registration, same day voter registration and pre-registration for our 16 and 17 year olds. A uh, big win-win uh, to the voters, uh, giving us a uh, better chance at having our voices heard. So thank you uh, to everyone working on those. Uh, we also uh, have a list of, of eight bills um, that's recommended uh, from the Washington Low Income Housing Alliance. Uh, uh, they recommend us uh, writing and calling to our legislators uh, and asking them to vote yes on these. So we've got House Bill 1239 is to access free medical records when appealing SSI or SSDI denials. Uh, House Bill 1570 to increase and protect a significant portion of funding for programs that prevent the end of homelessness. Uh, we've got 1831 to update asset limits for applications of public assistance. House Bill 2382 to allow surplus public lands to be used for affordable housing. 2437, again, House Bill, to increase local resources to invest in affordable homes. Uh, and then House Bill 2444 to clarify tax requirements to afford affordable housing nonprofits. House Bill 2578 to ban discrimination based on a renter's source of income. Uh, House Bill 2667 to remove barriers to housing assistance for people with disabilities and seniors. And um, man, that's it, it's all eight. There's a lot there, but they're all wonderful. Uh, it's a move in the right direction. Uh, our homeless, uh, cri it, it, we're in crisis mode. So uh, please call uh, and write your senators. There is a link uh, in there to go directly to a list of these bills, so uh, you, you don't miss out on them. Uh, and you, ne we need to reach the senators and the representatives. So SBs are Senate, and HBs are House. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Thank you for oh, the no. clarification. All right. So I'm a nerd. We've had a lot going on <laughs> with. With with some some bads going on, uh, the uh. ugly the ugly raised its head um, this last week in Washington legislature. So um, there is a coalition uh, a group uh, that um, Associated Press, Seattle Times, and there's other ones that came together and uh, were went you know started a lawsuit to get records from uh, legislation. The judge ended up uh, voting in kind of their favor, saying that, yes, there should be transparency there. <laughs> Within a few days of that happening, uh, out of the blue, Senate Bill 6617 popped up. Uh, the 22nd, it, it was introduced. Uh, so March 22nd, it was introduced. February. Oh, February. <laughs> I'm in March, but yes, you're right. February 22nd. I was like, no, we're in this month. Uh, it was introduced and um, it was able to go through the committee with, with, without any discussion. Um, and so by the 23rd of February, it was <laughs> brought to a vote uh, and passed like 41 to seven uh, off the top of my head. I think that was the number. Uh, and what it did is, it looked like it was supposed to be for the people for some transparency. Like we can see the legislators calendars now and, and we can see uh, the communications between the lobbyists and which is all great. I mean, it's, it's, it's what we need. Uh, but it, it, it cut off so much. Uh, so we, I, we, we all got kind of a little bit outraged a, a little bit. Uh, in that yeah. in, in that process, so you know we're we're happy that this bill was apparently a result of of the bipartisan you know working together. They came together and they passed this bill. So you know it, it's nice that they can work work together um, to do some of that. But um, the public has been totally left out of the process. Uh, this bill could not be amended, 
So while there was a very brief opportunity for public comment, uh, for those who could respond on very short notice, the message was very, very clear that the public comment would not be taken into consideration. Uh, and this is not the way an effective government uh, functions. So on Thursday, it did screech to a halt uh, when Ensley was asked by the legislators to go ahead and veto the, the, the bill. Uh, among the growing outcry of residents who said it, it shuttered public information and calls from a swath of lawmakers who said their spirit to pass the bill in roughly 48 hours was a mistake. <laughs> so, um, so yes, people are praising Inslee for vetoing it, uh, but what happened is the legislator uh, did tell him that, you know, uh, we, we see that this probably was a mistake, so we're not going to fight the veto um, so he came out and, and, and said, I believe legislators will find they can fulfill their duties while being fully transparent, just like the state and local governments all across Washington. Uh, I wholeheartedly agree with that statement. A hundred percent. It's true. Um, so I would just, we need to keep an eye on to make sure what, that they're going to stick with that. Cause they are going to be working on uh, a new bill. They will, uh, to come and, and help out the transparency. Um, so the coalition um, agreed uh, to not to seek enforcement of, of Lansing's ruling, which is the judge's ruling, um, while the legislator tries to appeal it uh, to the Senate, uh, state Supreme Court. Uh, the group also agreed to join the legislature in seeking a stay of Thurston County Court proceedings and said it would not launch an initiative or referendum to change the current law. So um, while, although um, I'm very happy that this did get uh, vetoed, uh, there, there is still seeming like there's some things still trying to be be kept secret. Uh, you know, coming to a pack saying nothing will happen until we get our crap together, please, uh, makes you wonder well, what, what's kind of going on still. Go I ahead. also have concerns uh, that Inslee's first response was, too many people voted for it, so I can't do anything about it. No, it's you won't do anything because there is a process that our government functions by and it involves veto power so what if make them stand up and stand up for their previous vote vote but you don't lie down and i'm tired of our elected officials saying oh on the national level we'll t we're told we can't uh you know we can't vote for this because the uh, republicans will just uh uh no i can't think of the word word but um you know mr washington um when they stand up and keep talking. Oh, uh, filibuster. Filibuster, yeah. So, oh, we can't, you know, they'll, they'll filibuster, filibuster us. And so they don't do anything. I, it's a cop out. And so this to me was the uh, Wa Washington state version of that. Oh, I can't do anything. No, you won't. And so now you have because people called you and demanded it. And then our senators and some of the House representatives conceded that uh, you should veto it because they are also getting phone calls it is right. not the goodness of their hearts it is the actions of the people so remember people don't thank anybody but thank yourselves right yes uh it was all the phone calls all the the letters all the outrage uh that happened to to help this stop in its in its tracks uh one thing it brought to light is is this use of the emergency legislation uh system uh as we find, I, I don't see, I, I'm sure somebody can tell me really what that's for, but unless it's truly detrimental to us citizens, that should not ever be a thing. There's no way something should be able to be brought up, you know, one day, uh, skip the whole process of, of, of any kind of uh, civilian uh, or, civ you know, a citizen's uh, responses to it and, and go and, and, and automatically get voted in. It should not be a thing, um, especially if it's about take um, organizing themselves. Right. They, they shouldn't vote on their own pay raises. They shouldn't vote on their own oversight. Exactly. Uh, so uh, we're going to do some digging uh, to see what really is supposed to be constituted in an emergency uh, bill like that uh, and see if we can't look at somehow putting some restraints on that because it was absolutely ridiculous. So there. <sighs> Huh. Our Washington <laughs> legislation in a nutshell in a week. Yeah. Um, so